What's up guys, Viper FPV here. And today we have a brand new stack I wanted to show you guys. It is actually pretty interesting. Um, it is the Rush FPV Racing uh, flight controller and ESC stack. Um, it's an F7 flight controller. And then also we have this up to 6S voltage um, ESC. So of course, from getting instructions and everything, of course, we get some instructions. And then also we get our ESC in this, which is really, really awesome looking. I'll take it out and show you guys. Now it's a three ounce metal uh, copper heat sink on this thing. Um, it does do B Heli 32. It does up to 50 amps and then 60 amp burst, which is awesome. So this would be really nice to put on a freestyle quad, probably a little heavy to put on a racing quad, um, but you still could put on a racing quad if you're not competing at the highest level. Uh, 6S voltage, really nice design, has the 401 header, has the all the wiring on the back and everything and kind of some of the specs. Um, really nice stack for an ESC. I'll probably be putting this in a build probably here soon on the channel. But I really wanted to show you guys is this. This flight controller, this is the F7 Analog from Rush. They do have a digital version as well. I'll leave a link to the digital version and this version down below if you're interested in picking them up. Um, There's an affiliate link. And check out this flight controller. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that thing. It has all these plugs, no soldering. You can solder though on the back side if you want to. So this will make your build super, super clean. And I'll probably be working on like a main review on this thing once I do get this thing into a quadcopter. Um, this thing has tons and tons of versatility. Uh, since it is an F7, we don't have to worry about really going out of style. Um, it is the analog version. So unfortunately, uh, it does have the OSD chip on it. Uh, but if you're going to be putting this in a digital version, you can. Um, just remember that I believe the HD version doesn't have the analog chip. So if you're going to be mixing them up, vice versa, keep that in mind. Now, wanted to kind of just zoom in on this flight controller and kind of just show you what all it's all about. Comes with all of these plugs for your flight controller to connect to all types of different devices, either a camera, a VTX, also the oh, even comes with these little extra pieces just in case it doesn't have, you don't have the right one. Comes with gummies. Comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Look at this stuff. Awesome. Even comes with a little sticker in there. Throw that away. Uh -uh. But I'm going to zoom in on this, and uh, we can kind of look at the specs and everything. All right, so this flight controller, just to give you a little bit of a rundown, it is an MPU 6000, so it is using the MPU 6000 gyro, which is trusted and true uh, throughout the industry in FPV. Um, it is using the F7 uh, CPU on it. And it does have black box, 16 megabytes of flash. It has six PWM ports and it has five UARTs and one I2C connection. Uh, has battery voltage and current monitoring. It has um, LED support. It has really everything, even mount the GPS on it. Here you go, the SEL, SCDA pins. Uh, you have everything really nicely laid out on the back of this flight controller and like I said, it makes it really unique is that it has this nice little heat sink on top, which is actually not a heat sink. It's actually just a piece of metal, just kind of just showing it, making it look neat, nice and neat and cool. Um, but it does have these plugs for your 401 ESC. You have your camera right here. Your VTX is down here. And then you have your LEDs and your receiver. So it's really awesomely laid out, especially for a beginner. If you, maybe if this is your first, I would really recommend this. If this is going to be your first uh, flight controller purchase, this thing actually might not be a bad idea. Um, just has it all laid out for you. Don't have to worry about what is what. Um, and it's really big and bold. Um, so you guys can see it. You might need glasses if you do need glasses. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice. Really cool. And I really do dig it. Um, I'll be putting this. I just wanted to kind of just do a little overview of it um, before I put it in a build and kind of just explain why I'm using it in a build uh, before I actually use it. Um, because a lot of people just pick stuff. They'll pick up the build and uh, they'll be like, this is what I'm using. 
and that's what they're using. Um, but I wanted to use this because it looks like a really easy, easy way to solder up, or not solder up, uh, wire up your, your pretty much complete quadcopter and uh, have some really nice features as well. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, these will be in the video description if you want to check them out. Um, but this is Viper FPV, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.